Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this reversible Totoro No Face plushie. It's really quick and easy to make and should only take an afternoon, so let's get started! Alright, so the first thing we're going to need is three different colors of socks. You need a gray sock, a black sock, and a white sock. And these are all these fuzzy socks that they sell around Christmas time. You want to try and get the fuzzy socks because it's going to hide the stitches really well. Um, you can get these at almost any store that sells socks. I think I got these at Target. You're also going to need a sewing needle and thread so that we can sew everything together. I'm using white thread. You're also going to need some toy stuffing. Next we have some supplies which um, you can use different supplies depending on how you want to do this, but to create the small details like the chevron shapes on Totoro's belly and the details on No Face's mask, I'm using needle felting, but you can use regular felt and super glue or you can use fabric markers, it's entirely up to you. So that is everything we're going to need to make this reversible plushie. Let's get started! The first thing we need to do is cut the gray sock and we need to cut it just above the heel. Um, don't throw out this other part that you're cutting off because we're going to need to use it to make some of the other parts, but for now the only part that we want to use is the part where your toe would typically go, and this is going to be Totoro's body. Now do the same thing for the black sock, and that's going to be No Face's body, but make sure that you don't throw out the parts that you cut off because you're going to need them for later. Next, we're going to take the black sock and turn it inside out, and this will be No Face's body, and we're turning it inside out so that when we put it inside the gray sock and you can flip it inside out, it will have the right side of the sock sticking out. So place the black sock into the gray sock. And we're going to place our toy stuffing around the black sock. So don't put it in the black sock, put it in the space between the gray sock and the black sock, and this is going to create the stuffing for the body. Next, we're going to sew together the gray sock and the black sock along this bottom perimeter so that we seal the stuffing inside and it makes it so that we can turn it inside out and back without the stuffing coming out. So unfurl your black sock and line it up against the edges so that we can sew along the perimeter. Prepare your needle and thread, and the stitch we're going to use is called a whip stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold the two pieces of sock together, we're going to go over both pieces and through both pieces and pull it tight. So now that we're all done sewing it together, flip it inside out a couple times to help distribute the stuffing evenly. Next, we're going to use that spare piece of sock from the beginning and cut out four arrow pieces. These arrows are going to form Totoro's ears. Now I don't have a pattern for this, so you're just going to have to eyeball it, but really what you can do is you can cut out your first arrow, compare it to your gray body that we just made and make sure that it looks uh, about the right size, and then you can use that to help you cut out the other three arrows. You'll need four total. So just make sure that you compare it and it's not too big. Now we're going to sew two of the arrows together and the other two arrows together and this is going to form the front and back of Totoro's ears. So we're going to sew these together using the exact same whip stitch as before. And then once you've got it all sewn together, everything but the bottom, you're going to flip it inside out so that the raw edges are hidden and then you can stuff it. So now we have both of our ears. Next, we're going to take our white sock and we're going to cut out two oval pieces. This is going to make Totoro's belly and No Face's mask. Next, I'm going to use needle felting to felt on the details for Totoro's belly. Um, so Totoro has some kind of um, chevron shapes, they're upside down V's on his belly, and I'm just making three of those using needle felting, but you can use whatever method you want to get these shapes. You can use regular felt and super glue, or you can use fabric markers and draw them on. It's entirely up to you.
Next, I'm gonna make Totoro's eyes by taking my leftover white sock and needle felting in two black pupils. Once I've felted those on, then I'm gonna cut out the circles for the eyes. I'm doing this because if I were to cut out the circles for the eyes first and then try and needle felt on the black, it would um, really mess up the shape of the eyes. So I'm doing this first and then I'm cutting out the circles. But once again, you can use whatever method you want. You can use regular felt or you can use fabric markers. It's entirely up to you. Now I'm gonna line up the belly piece that I just made with the bottom of Totoro's body where it meets the black portion for No Face's body and I'm gonna sew it on using a whip stitch just like before. Make sure that you're only sewing through the gray portion and that you're not sewing all the way through to the black portion or else you're gonna get stitches on the other side. So don't put the needle all the way through, just put it through the white portion and the gray portion and leave the black portion unsewn. After that, I'm going to create Totoro's nose by taking some black wool and using my felting needle and just needle felting it on. But again, this is one of those things where you can just do whatever method you like to get that detail on. I prefer needle felting. Then after that, I'm going to take my eyes and line them up to make sure that their position is where I like it. And then I'm going to sew them on using a whip stitch, just like before. Now we're going to line up Totoro's ears so that they're on top of the head and parallel with the eyes. And now we're going to use a whip stitch to sew the ears in place. Now we're going to create Totoro's arms using our remaining portion of gray sock. Cut out two small ovals and those will be Totoro's arms. So line up the ovals flush with Totoro's body and sew them on using the whip stitch from before. Once it's almost entirely sewn on and there's just a small gap left, you can use that gap to insert some stuffing and that will create a little bit of bulk in his arms. Now I'm going to take my second oval from before and I'm going to use it to felt on the details for No Face's mask. Once again, this is entirely up to you how you want to get these details in place. I prefer needle felting for this sort of thing. Next, we're going to flip our body to the black side to make no faces portion. And you're going to line up the face so that the front of Totoro and the front of no face are on the same side. So if you look inside, you should be able to see Totoro's belly and eyes and stuff right where we're going to sew on the mask. And we're going to sew on the mask using a whip stitch just like before. And just like with Totoro's belly, make sure that you're only going through the black portion of No Face's body and through the white portion of his mask. Don't go all the way through to the gray portion of Totoro's body or else the stitches are going to show through the other side. And you don't want that. So once you have No Faces mask all sewn on, you are done! If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. If you want to see what other things I'm working on, you can visit my website at studiocrafty.com for some crochet tutorials and other tips and tricks. And I will see you in the next video!